Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can train Wing Chun at home effectively. Make sure you stick around to the end so that way you can see all the tips and strategies. Okay guys, let's get started. Anytime you want to practice Wing Chun at home, you always have to start by number one, taking care of yourself. That means you need to work on your fitness and flexibility. You want to do this on a daily basis. Keep in mind the duration of the workout, it all depends on you because you can keep it very short and effective, say 10 minutes, or you can go as long as you wish. If you're keeping it short and sweet, I recommend do it in the morning, okay, before you start your day. That way, when you start your day, you're full of energy. So just wake up 15 minutes earlier and put your clothes on ready to train. You don't need a big space and really you don't need any equipment. So for flexibility, you can check my flexibility routine video. Um, in terms of fitness, you can work on your push-ups, your sit-ups and your leg squats, just the basics. And do at least three sets for each exercise. And each exercise you wanna go to failure. Okay, all right, keeping that in mind, when you start working on your technique, start from the ground up. Always work on your stance. The stance is the most important thing. If you don't know how to stand, how can you fight? Now, which technique should you start off with? I recommend just the Ji Kim Yung Ma, basic stance, and the Jin Ma, the turning stance. Once you're there, you want to build the foundation, the strength in your legs. Condition them to be able to withstand your weight and pressure when training, when moving forward, when moving back, when stepping out to the side and regaining your center. You need to have a strong foundation. So stay on this stance for as long as you can. You can grab, say, like a basketball or something between your thighs so that way you're clamping your legs. Okay? I'm not saying push or bring your legs in, I'm saying just use isometric tension to strengthen your legs and keep them in place. Once you do that, automatically you start to feel that your whole body is a lot stronger. Once you're standing in this position, you can also work on your arms. So you can work on your guard, you can work on your form, you can work on your punches, on many different things while you're sitting on your horse and not moving it. Lock your arms, just cross your arms, and then turn. When you turn, hold each stance for a few seconds, okay? So from one side, you turn to the other. And still, as you're doing this, don't forget to clamp. On either side, you want to grip, so that way you maintain that stability. Now, when you want to practice your kicks at home, there are many things that you can do to improve your kicking technique. Number one, you want to strengthen all the different muscle groups involved when kicking. One exercise that I have my students do, and I start with my younger students, is basically holding onto something and then working on a rhythm when you kick. So let's say because the camera is in front of me, I'm gonna show you the side kick. So the rhythm is just simple, knee up, extend, knee up and down. I tell them to put a chair at home, something that will force them to raise the leg and kick. The more you do this, of course, you won't need to hold on to something and then you can just work on your balance. You can do this for a side kick, for a front kick, all different kicks. Another thing that you can do is basically just hold your leg out with your toes straight forward and then circle. Circle out, circle in. You want to do this just by drawing small circles with the tip of your foot. That way, if you do this many times, you'll see the strength that you will have, the accuracy when kicking, and overall perfecting all your kicking techniques. You want to be overall a good solid martial artist. So your legs have to be as fast and as strong as your arms. 
When you move up to your arms and hands, let's say you want to focus on improving your punching techniques. Start slow. I tell my students, draw the technique. Do it slowly, don't rush. And then when you're ready and you've done it many, many times until it feels good and you're confident with what you're doing, then add the speed, okay? I previously did a video where I explained one of the um, common mistakes that new students will do is they cop, they pull the punch before they execute it. Those details make a big difference, so that is what you want to pay attention to. So if I'm working at home and I'm just focusing on my punches, what am I focusing as I punch? Personally, legs. I don't want to be shaky. I don't want to be bouncy. I don't want to swing. I want to stay fixed. Okay, solid down low, loose at the top. Okay, don't pop, don't, don't, just extend. And when you punch, lock. Lock the arm every time you punch. When you bring the arm back, you want to keep this fist in the proper position, proper distance, and elbow tucked in. And then you just go. You can go slow, fast, single, triple. That's how I recommend you work on your punches. Then if you want to wrap it up with blocking techniques, covering techniques, same principle applies. Let's say you just want to work on a gum sole technique. And the gum sole technique, you're sitting on your horse and you just want to sit back, boom, and then just cover. Sit back and cover. Now, what am I looking at perfecting when I do this movement? Number one, again, the horse. I want to see if my stance is done correctly. Number two, I want to see if I'm guarding my face every time I execute the technique. And number three, I want to feel that everything is connected. Top and bottom connected. Strong, solid, fast, and strong and solid. That's the connection that you want to have. You don't want to be lightning fast and have no power in your movements when you execute the technique. And again, you don't want to be super strong and very slow because you'll never reach the target. So you want to find the right connection. So again, from here, I sit back, boom, and sit. Stay there, then you can come back, reset, boom, and then you do it again and again. If you're working on stepping forward or stepping back, Whichever technique you choose, same thing. Just make sure that everything that you're doing falls into place. You don't need to work on many techniques if you're gonna be practicing at home. I highly recommend you just stick to one technique for stance, one for arms, one for legs. That's it. And just work on it many, many times. You don't want to just do 10, 15 reps of this, 10, 15 reps of that, because at the end of the day, you just warmed up, you didn't work on it long enough to build that reflexiveness in your technique. Okay. Perfect, so that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, share it with a friend. You may also want to check some of my other videos. And guys, make sure these techniques, you practice them on a daily basis, so that way you can see the results in no time. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.